Lighters are incredibly useful, giving us access to fire right at our fingertips. One of the most popular handheld lighters is a Zippo lighter. This lighter is windproof due to its unique design. The first Zippo lighter was invented by George G. Blaisdell in 1933. In this video, we will see how these lighters are constructed and how they work. Zippo lighter construction. In the inner case, a four inch long wick is inserted into one of the holes. And in the other hole, a long metallic tube is attached in which the spring is passed. And on top of the spring, a cylindrical flint is fixed with the support of the felt pad below the inner case. Rayon or cotton balls are inserted into the inner case and right below the spring, a screw is fixed tightly to make the spring slightly compressed and a main cover case is strongly installed by enclosing the inner case and the felt pad. This main inner cover case plays a crucial role in holding the flint wheel on top of the flint bar by fixing it with a flint wheel rivet. The flint wheel is made of ferrocerium, which gives off a large number of sparks when scraped against a rough surface. This phenomenon is called pyrophoricity. The flint wheel is in contact with the flint the flint bar is pushed upward by the spring under it, and the inner main cover case on its top is designed with small holes. This design will make the lighter windproof, and a cam is fixed to the main case with a cam rivet. This cam helps in closing and opening the lid securely. And finally, the outermost part. The bottom case is strongly fixed from the bottom to hold the complete setup, and the bottom case consists of the hinge where it gets fixed with a top lid made of brass with the help of the hinge pin, which interlocks with the help of the hinge pin, which interlocks with the upper lid and bottom case. Now, let's know how these lighters work and the science behind them. Here, the Zippo lighter uses a simple mechanical flint wheel that is turned with a thumb finger. This wheel will strike a spark against the wick by getting scrapped against the flint bar, which is supported by the spring below and the wick will start burning by drawing fuel from the inner case containing rayon balls, which are soaked in lighter fluids like petroleum. Finally, when the top lid is closed, the flame will automatically stop due to the blockage of oxygen needed for combustion. If the Zippo lighter is out of fuel, it can be refueled from the bottom of the lighter by opening the screw and felt pad. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe now for more interesting videos.